Tens of thousands of New Jersey residents may get some unexpected news today. As CBS 2's John Diaz explains, they'll receive notices that pipe carrying water into their homes is made of lead. You're trusting these people. You know. um, I use the water to cook and everything. To Armando Perez's surprise, the pipes that carry water into his Elizabeth, New Jersey home are made of hazardous lead. That's according to his water provider's interactive map. He's been raising his family using this water since he bought the home five years ago. I live with three kids and over here, my wife, and it's bad. His household is likely one of the 180,000 homes. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection should be sending a certified letter to today, like this one, explaining a lead service line is transporting water into their homes. Durable and flexible, lead was historically used as water service line material. However, in 1987, the federal government banned lead in solders, faucets, and pipes. It had been discovered that long-term exposure to lead was connected to multiple negative health effects, like behavior problems, kidney damage, anemia, and low birth weight. Legislation passed in July requires water providers to replace the line within 10 years. But many homeowners are concerned. A simple letter won't have the answers. Sending out a letter doesn't mean anything to me. I think the bigger concern would be if it's going to be 10 years, does it start in two, does it start in three, does it start in five? Mark McDonahue is the president of New Jersey American Water. The fact that you have a lead line or a galvanized line and receive a letter like this does not mean the water is unsafe. Vice President Harris was in Newark last week highlighting the city's work to eradicate lead service lines in two and a half years, saying Newark will be used as a model across the country. But in nearby Cranford, homeowners say even if lead pipes aren't an issue there, outdated piping is. I think the pipes are just so old they're going to have to be replaced anyway. I have a very fancy um, filter, so I'm hoping that it is adequate. And federal dollars will help to fund this statewide project. Over five years, New Jersey will be getting roughly $1 billion. From Cranford, New Jersey, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. New Jersey American Water already started removing lead lines and says it is prioritizing underserved communities.